Hey everybody, welcome back. We have a great new offering from Rosecraft Blades. And I will have to say, some of the materials, beautiful. The functionality used for me, a little more limited, and I will explain why here in just a minute. But on this one, you got that beautiful burlap micarta in brown. You also have the orange accent pivot collar ring Beautiful, beautiful on both sides. And of course, got Rosecraft branding. You got those flush screws. Oh, can you guys see it in there? There's a hidden lanyard hole. So lanyard fans, they did not forget about you. This is awesome. It's a new flipper, thumb stud frame lock. But I will have to say, I'm having to get used to this one a little bit. You got that blade steel RPM 9 on there stone wash a beautiful size but you can see right there i always push down on those frame locks so for me i have to get used to that so i've been trying the thumb stud just doesn't work for me the way i grip it so i have to adjust and it flips out beautifully this one's on a ceramic ball bearing pivot what do you guys think of this one now you got your designer logo on there hawkins rose made by rosecraft blades this one coming in full retail at $79.99, the Ajuda. And overall, you know, it's to me, it's thin. It fits well in the hand, large glove size hand. Got plenty of room there to put the rest of the hand on. Got a beautiful, beautiful blade to it. But I just have a hard time with those frame locks. And that's me personally. I know a lot of you, it's no issue. So I'm just too used to, you know, axis locks and thumb studs that, when I use this thumb stud, I grip it totally different, but this one, it's pretty rad color-wise. You know, you got your burlap micarta. This side, you got your stainless steel frame lock. Pretty cool. But overall, man, hidden lanyard, you can't, can't go wrong. It's going to sit deep carry in the pocket as well, as you can see. So let's talk about some stats. There we go. Gripping it, gripping it wrong again on camera. That's all good. Uh, stats, blade length 3.2 inches, handle is 4.3 inches, overall you're 7.5 inches. So it's a decent sized knife, weight on this one is 4 ounces, and very plain on this side, so I like how they broke it up with the orange pivot collar, the black thumb stud. Now on this one, um, I think you can, you can take the pocket clip off, but it is not reversible. So it's just a right-handed tip-up carry on this one. Uh, there is a little bit of info that they put about the Ajuda name itself. Uh, it's a play on the Latin word adjutorium, and which means help. So they're kind of saying this one's a very helpful knife. It's going to be in your pocket all the time. But let me know what you guys think. The detent seems pretty solid. You know, you can see the lock up in here. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. You can see the lock up in there. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I like that about it. But for me, $80 on this one for a frame lock that I'm going to continually misfire my own fingers on, you know, um, I would really, really have to practice with it. So I'm not sure this one is for me just on design of the frame lock. You know, maybe if it was a hidden one where they had a cover on this side, that would, that would work for me. I've seen a few of those. And that's just me personally, you guys. Some of you guys love frame locks. This is going to be a solid one for you. And, uh, you know, under that hundred dollar mark, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, we will do some comparisons here really quick. I want to put a couple knives up here that we're used to seeing. Um, let's do the, um, Benchmade 940. You know, it's got that kind of length to it. Obviously not as much handle, um, in tallness and especially in the blade, but similar size wise, you can see lengthwise a little bit longer in the handle blades, pretty much equal. Um, so I like that. I really like that. Uh, full size griptilian. We got to put that one on show just so you can kind of see size comparison wise blades, pretty darn comparable cutting edge wise handles a little bit longer on the griptilian, but the frame lock, it fits for you guys. Totally 100%. Now, overall, we got to show another knife. Now this is going to be size wise comparison to like the bug out, but this is the Hogue Deca. I'm digging this Hogue Deca. You guys, size-wise, pretty darn comparable. You can see the handle length, blade length, 
this is just going to be an able lock compared but you can see thickness wise pretty close and you can see a little bit different you know length on the blade on the left with the hogue but handle wise i mean obviously it's different mechanisms so i get that part of it but i really dig the look of this one you know and maybe it's the brown micarta the brown burlap micarta that does it for me but overall you know if i got this one it would take a lot of practice for me and of course you guys know even with front flippers you get used to that stuff you know so i can get used to holding it up here firing it out but that's just me so anyways you guys i hope you're having a great great day a huge shout out to rosecraft blades for sending this out to big red big red put this in our pass around group so shout out to both of them really appreciate it i hope you guys are doing good have a great rest of your day make sure to do something kind for someone but most importantly take care